Wind farm development often takes place on working ranches and can coexist with agriculture and oil and gas operations. Once roads are in place and construction begins, turbines can be operational in a matter of months. When foundations are complete, as many as six towers a day can be assembled. I can remember the day they set our first turbines. Junior and I was over there, my daughter and my two grandchildren, and we watched as they lifted that first bottom section. It just sent cold chills. It was just like, I never dreamed it would ever happen to us. And then they bring, the erection crews bring in the nacelle, they set the nacelle on top. While all this is taking place, they've got a second crew beside the turbine, and they're putting the blades into the rotor and actually building the rotor set. Once the nacelle is set and torqued down to the proper settings, they actually fly the rotor set. They pick it, they, it, it looks like a star laying on the ground, and they actually have two cranes. They have a, a head pick crane and a tail pick crane and uh, very difficult lift as you can imagine these blades catch a lot of wind anyways and uh, they make the pick kind of like a star flying in the air we negotiated and negotiated with our contract and like i said we signed our contract in august and they were scraping the roads in january of 2006 and turbines were up and running the first week of June of 2006. Wind turbines are strategically placed throughout the site to optimize wind capture. A minimum of one and a half blade lengths separate each turbine in each row to avoid interference and allow maximum wind collection. Turbine density varies based on site conditions, but 5 to 10 turbines every 500 acres is not uncommon.